Welcome everybody to Tier List Friday, aka TLF. Uh, our newest show that we started <laughs> back uh, yeah, uh, last year, yeah, yeah. And what we're doing these types of tier lists with a bunch of input uh, and data. Well, when we're doing DPS and healers, we're basically doing them from the Warcraft logs and add a little bit of touch of our experience. But today, we're looking at text in yeah, rates, uh, and it's gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be definitely a little bit different because it's very hard to judge a tank's performance strictly based from logs because of course a lot of it comes from player input as yep. opposed to DPS which is... I'm not saying that DPS is easy guys, I'm saying that DPS is straightforward, you want to do as much damage as possible but tanks kind of have to take into consideration the damage they're taking, how they're aligning their cooldowns and if they fuck up then all shit hits the fan. So a quick disclaimer guys, like all the tanks can be played in all of the content. If you look right now on the screen on the top 10 tanks in the freaking world you can yeah. see that all, all of the tanks all are represented yeah. now some of them might be represented more some of them less some that some has to do with their performance some has to do with people also playing them in mythic plus which we, why you might see a lot of vengeance demon hunters as well but that being said take this with a grain of salt this is just a little bit of comparison between the two and just because something in is s tier or d tier doesn't mean it's absolutely the best or absolutely the worst they're yeah. all good at pretty much everything so this is just made to make a proper ranking within a tier list, taking into account what Flame just said, and uh, hopefully give you a better idea on uh, what tank shines better in some situation in within the raid and what uh, what tank doesn't. And that being said, if you enjoyed this, please remember, subscribe, click that bell thingy, maybe leave a comment, who knows, we all love that shit, it's absolutely free and it helps us out. Now, uh, without further ado, let's go with the blood, uh, blood, blood decay. decay. Your tank of choice uh, mm. after pro, after ah! after, after pro warrior. We'll yeah, get to we'll that we'll as get... well. A blood decay is an interesting thing because um, obviously it has tools. It has really good tools. AMS is also really good for uh, magic damage absorption, and you can prevent certain uh, debuffs from being applied. I'm not sure if there's a lot of them in raids. I'm right now thinking of Rip Soul from Bargast and Huntsman. You can yep. absorb every other rip soul, so you can essentially roll out AMS with uh, any other uh, defensive cooldowns, maybe from healers as well. So that's not too bad, although other tanks might be doing doing it better. AMZ though is really oh, good, so yeah. that alone can can warrant having a bloody K in your raid if you don't really have any other tanks, because uh, AMZ is really good. We currently have our own main tank being a blood as well, so that's pretty yeah. good. And it definitely help, yeah. helping out inside of the Nathrius, especially uh, you know, those AMZs 100%. On the, on the, the ad space, yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing about Blood Decay is that they tend to have low DPS, but yeah. really high HPS. I mean, yeah. I was going to say this, I know I mentioned this all the time, like when, when healing a bad Blood Decay as a healer, it's really, really it's, difficult because yeah. you, you cannot really, I mean, if he doesn't, you know, do his thing properly, you can, he always like shifts out, right? Spikes, you know, gets huge heal back up, then stays low. That's not really what you want. As a blood decay, I mean, you, you talked about yeah, this. The, 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 you have to maintain your stuff and you, you should never go like spiking down all the time. No, no, right? it's, that's, that's fine. That depends on the mechanic because some mechanics that spike you are mechanics that warriors can block monks can dodge and yep. stuff like that but blood decays don't really have anything but you do have an ability to heal it back so as long as you don't get one shot from a mechanic and you have runic power you can essentially heal most of that thing back uh, one of the other issues that blood decays might be facing is low mobility uh, um, yeah. especially i feel like on on sire you might have to move a lot in the second phase oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course in the third phase you kind of have to like wiggle around depending on your guild strategy guys because you know some some people have it better some people have it worse it depends if you're the main tank or not but yeah, low damage, high HPS is kind of a given for uh, for Blood Decay. It probably has the highest, but that just means that it's it's it can rely a lot on, on itself, not as much on the healers. But you know, communication with healer cooldown might be important to be able to survive certain hits. Yeah, and the, the thing with the mobility is uh, it also really dependent on the comp because our Blood Decay when we when we raid with our guild, you know, we have warlocks with the gate. You know, we we have grips from the priest and all that, yeah. so it can be helped out. This yeah. is why it's a little bit difficult to like place all of these tanks within the tier list because there's a lot of compensation if something lacks and yeah the and spe of speaking about that um the thing with blood decay is that you can definitely uh make up for the mobility if you go venthyr with door of shadows and you can definitely yeah, make up for a lot of the uh lack of tankiness that my other tanks might have with kirian because kirian is one of the best if not the best raiding covenants for blood decay and uh, fall of serenity just clears oh, all yeah. of the bleeds uh -huh. 
all of the diseases, poisons, curses, and uh, so on. And definitely also heals for a check of your max HP. And we know Bloody Cage rock that high HP. All right, but well, that being said, all of this, where would all we right, place right. the blood? Before we place the blood, we want to make uh, clear that if uh, the top six tank in the world in Nathria Mythic yeah. is a blood decay. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, blood decay, if we're gonna rank it against other tanks, seems to be performing a little bit less. So I think a, a D tier. D tier. Uh, prepare Which your pitchforks. Does, uh, does it imply it's bad? Remember, right? It doesn't. Imply, I like it. I play. It. Yeah, I know, and it can clear anything. I mean, again, it's like top six in the world on mythic so it can work but we have to make the steel list based on all of the tank strengths and weaknesses all right so this is why it's it's d tier nevertheless uh pretty fun tank to play now let's move yeah. along to a more mobile tank <sighs> i would say the monk <laughs> um, master monk i before we start anything i have to uh, i have to clarify this last but like we do with uh, some of the specs brewmaster monk's kit is just made for raiding <laughs> Mostly because of stagger, because stagger just make sure you cannot get one shot it physically unless there's a specific boss mechanic that bypasses your class design and just one shot you. Monks cannot be one shot. You will need a lot of consistent healing because stagger is always gonna damage you. But stagger aside, one of the best uh, kit, best tools in the monk's arsenal is its mastery elusive brawler because you can stack dodge to dodge specific boss mechanics like sire bleeds. I believe I'm almost 100% sure. And uh, that's, that's you know you know stupid. when you have to yeah, I, I taunt know. swap at like three stacks, monks can take it a little bit more. And even if you do take it, you still have the stagger to uh, to mitigate it. And apparently, monks are decent at damage. Man, monks yeah, are doing way more damage than I thought. And they're doing more than vengeance. Uh, well, apparently, from the logs, in top ninety five percent. And the rates for for sure. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that they're they are a little bit weak versus magic damage. But I mean, the, the damage intake is still pretty pretty yeah. smooth, and it's not really that that problematic. So mobility, you know, a lot of dodge, uh, you know, the kit basically made because of stagger for rating. So where we sh where should we put the brewmaster? Well, um, monk has monk is probably one of the best tanks on sire among a, well, a couple others. But uh, other than that, I feel like it took a dive from BFA. It definitely seems to be better than uh, than blood, but I'm not sure if it's too much better. So I'm thinking C tier. C tier would be C -tier, right. C tier and just just take this into consideration, guys. Like the C tier tank is one of the best tanks for Sardanathri. So <laughs> yeah, that that's what it's. If that doesn't say anything, and and if you look, like we have two brewmaster monks in the top ten world mythic. So yeah. the, the, the the second one is a brewmaster. All right, move along to All right. Druids. There you go, man. Your man. bear. Yeah, I mean, I I tanked uh, with the uh, with the guardian druid. I, I really love it. It's more more on on the easy side of things. I mean, it's really good if you want to get it to tank you. But we're talking a little bit more high level here. So one of one of the things when we did the research for for this and when I did research for for the guardian is like uh, when in terms of rating. Um, and you, I think you know, like a lot of guilds and our groups had a little bit of a struggle with Sludge Fist. Oh yeah, and, and yeah, it was our wall essentially. Yeah, for, for us and for many people too. And Guardian Druid is one of the best tanks, if not the, the best tank for that fight, because it had decent damage and you have high, super high survivability with the, the Barskin le Legendary, I don't know, we, we talked about it in the guide, by yeah. the way, you should check the guide, uh, if, you, if you didn't mention that, no, the guide, yeah, uh, self-plug, shameless. However, <laughs> however simple Guardian might seem to be, with yeah. Owl Weaving now in the mix that you can probably do on Slash Fist when it hits pillars, I can it definitely really, see that happening. Yeah, it really raises up the damage. And I think uh, just by looking at the performance when it comes to damage of each tank, like a ranking based on logs, Guardian is the second best tank. I would I would have expected Vengeance to be there, honestly. Uh, well, th th it is what it is. I mean, Guardian still has a lot of You can play with the Barskin Lego or you can play with or or Socks Remembered. Uh, that that can also do good, but more in cleavy fights, right? Right. So uh, uh, this, this, think about the Natrius. Like you can get a huge amount of absorbs with the Orsak on the the Yats face. Oh I mean, yeah. You crash that shit. It's like you basically become immortal on that man. Jesus. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah, I yeah. mostly thought about like single target bosses. Although Guardian might lack a little bit of mobility and uh, on certain Atreus, although it's still yeah, a good tank. It is. But yeah. I think the tanks that shine at certain Atreus are the ones that we're gonna mention pretty soon. Yeah. But yeah. and you'll know why bear is the best but that probably because of that I'll, I'll i'll mention also this like in terms of dps and hps yeah right uh guardian druids are 
close to the top like uh the the, the second best on the the dps chart right yeah. and they are, are i think either the it's first or the, the second the on the top uh, i think it's this no you cannot beat uh, bloody cannot king beat bloody yeah, king, yeah. yeah. So, the, the sec so really good in both aspects you right? probably so many frenzy region with the oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really 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 good and uh, as a personal note i cannot recommend this and if you ever want to get into tank and it can do well in all content no worries all right but where this, do we put this man uh, I mean, I would put this in an A tier, strong A tier for sure right now. Mm. Um, it's, you know, just because of the reasons we talked about, we, we basically touched on all of the capabilities of the Guardian Druid. And maybe, okay, it's not that mobile, but then again, it is a Druid. If you have a good off tank, you know, that you can communicate with, you can compensate that, you know, by... Mm. Switching form and maybe get back yeah, into off it. Off tank DPSing <laughs> is something that's really common sometimes in raids, unless you have something yeah. to, to actively well, mitigate. You need that as a guardian druid. We I will mean, get that. Yeah, if you want to go into to uh, alt form, you know, pop a heart of uh, heart of the wild and convoke and do some big ass damage, <laughs> you need a good partner I, 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 to take the dagger uh, for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, bears, bears. Uh, the one thing that I've heard is that if a specific tank or tanks might be nerfed, bears will be the best tanks in the game uh, oh. in all content. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> we'll we'll you see, know, we'll see. you know, we'll see um, how things roll out. But let's let's move along, let's to, move along to the, the Paladin. Paladin. Jesus! After so <laughs> many nerfs, it's still <laughs> the highest in damage yeah, in man, it's, in, it's uh, in at least in raids in single target. Um, probably because of the Shield of the Righteous uh, legendary, and you also probably run. Kyrian, which is again another big thing when it comes to tanks, which is a lot of defenses. So we're not going to talk too much about Kyrian. We did mention it in blood. It applies to all the tanks that go Kyrian for the raiding purposes. It's just really good. It's probably the best tank covenant altogether. Now, Paladins also have an amazing kit. Yeah, it's man. definitely very high up there with bears in terms of HPS. Like, I don't know. If we'll... Yeah, it's almost almost the same. Almost the same. The, uh, the charts, um, you know, yeah. it depends on how it, uh, how it scales and the heals are more or less free. You have amazing cooldowns. You have Devotion Aura now. And you can provide 3% damage reduction to everybody if you don't have another Paladin in your raid. And that's pretty good. That That's, you know, when we talk about Paladins in general, man, we have to remember, like, uh, uh, the, the utility toolkit is really good, right? Like, yeah, you have the sacrifice, the freedoms, the off kills, and the off kills are ridiculous. I mean, if you want if you want to go there. Mm. Uh, that, on, on top of the, the fact that, okay, there was a running meme that Paladins are not the most mobile, but I do believe they are a bit more mobile than others, like, especially we're talking Blood Decay, for example. Yeah, the, you can still get away with, with Pony and Freedom in certain situations better than a Blood yeah. Decay would do, I don't know, uh, what's uh, it called? Wraith Walk, uh, that's, that's advanced, but that's I'm thinking advanced. there are very few instances where tanks have to move, and when they have to move, they need a burst of speed, and I think Pony does that pretty well. Yeah, that, that's And if I'm you saying. really want it, you can get two charges, although I doubt you'll go for that, because I think you have to sacrifice a little bit of defensive, so... Um, but I do feel uh, Paladin is really good, and I feel like Bob for your co-tank might actually help with certain bleeds. Normally, uh, that should take bleeds off. Well, yeah, it, it takes bleeds off. No, it takes bleeds off 100%, but then again, you, the tank that gets the bop, you know, has to and know how to cancel loses it. all the aggro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that, it's something that goes a little bit into more intricacies, because we've been playing with a partner tank, you know, obviously there has to be some communication there. But yeah, as a bop, you can probably get the, uh, a bop on one of the healers if he gets bleeded up too much. That being said, we also like to mention that Prot Paladin right now, a Prot Paladin is number uno. Yeah, the <laughs> best Mythic tank in the world right now is a Prot, a Prot Paladin. Paladin. Yeah. So uh, taking that into account, you know, the, the off heals, the damage, the self heal sustain, you know, the decent ish mobility and utility. I mean, uh, we we have to put it into an A tier, right? I mean, it's, yeah. it's uh, uh, either that or B tier. Um, uh, it's, it's the thing is, I've heard a lot of a lot of good good stuff about Paladin as well, and there are a couple of A tier tanks. I just feel it's not on the same level uh, as compared, better. Yeah, when compared to the others that are coming, so, for sure. Yeah, let's let's if, keep it to B tier. If, if, if it can be an overall performance and what you can get out of it, it might be A tier. But if we're gonna compare it to Bear, yeah, yeah. it yeah. might be a little bit lower than Bear. But once again, guys, now you see four tanks already on the tier list. All of them are viable in all content, especially in raids. No worries. And again, look at the world. Uh, uh, top 10 tanks in Mythic rating, all specs, you can see them there, all right? So don't worry about, you know, oh my God, I'm playing the DK, it's D tier. You're playing the DK, you're Gucci. All right, all right moving what's next? on to the Warrior, my personal <laughs> favorite right now, which uh, has been ever since, I think, beta when I initially jumped on it and I was re realizing how fun it is because it's maybe the fast, fastest paced uh, tank out there. 
it's really fun. It's also, I feel, and uh, I've heard this before as well from, from really top players, that the uh, Prowler might be one of the hardest to master. It looks and like And I can definitely see how that can be the case. Now, Pro Warrior has some of the most amazing toolkits for the raid. It, it's one of the best tanks for Sardin Atreus because it can leap from platforms, especially since our guild, for instance, doesn't have that many ranged DPS. So the, the yeah. ranged adds kind of die the last, but you can definitely leap towards that. And I, I am almost 100% sure that Sardin Atreus will follow you through. So the ranged DPS can also cleave on Sire yeah. while they're doing the adds. It has amazing mobility, spell reflect. Although it might not reflect all of the spells, the magic damage reduction is crazy and it actually aligns with every rip soul from Huntsman that you cast, so you can definitely tank Bargast. And that's really good. Very few tanks can properly mitigate every rip soul. Shield wall legendary with uh, the actual skill. Now we can re reduce shield wall to about a minute and a half, really maybe sure even less. Yeah. That's 50%. And don't forget about intervene, man. That's... Yeah, and oh my god, intervene. <laughs> a lot of people like intervene because intervene right now, obviously, intervene, uh, you know, blocks the, you know, intercepts the next uh, melee attacks on the target for I think it's six seconds. I'm oh, not mistaken, six or six, it's eight seconds. And if you use the safeguard conduit, it also reduces the damage by 11%. So that's essentially a, a defensive cooldown. And it can definitely help your co-tank with that, definitely help it if he or she is like low on HP but it still has yeah. to tank the boss. You can just quickly intervene, get a couple of melees in your face because you can also shield block <laughs> them. So that's also pretty good. And that aside, it might not have, it definitely doesn't have the highest damage. It probably has yeah, one of the lowest the damage lowest and the lowest yeah. self-sustain, but it does have more self-sustain than before. Even so, the defensive toolkit is so good it that it's, it's, that. it's yeah. very high up there, I think. It's safe to assume because of all the mobility and because it's one of the best tanks for Sire, I think it can go up there next to Bear. Definitely, definitely. I mean, there, there's a... I don't know why there's a, a little bit of a community perception regarding Prot Warriors not being all that great, but uh, from what we've seen and what I've seen flame play and looking at, you know, all, all of these rankings and performances, Prot Warriors are super good, man. And no wonder it's an A tier. So maybe this will help out the idea a little bit uh, when it comes to, to the Prot Warrior. All right, now let's go for our shining star once again uh, with the tier right, list. All right. all right, Vengeance Demon Hunter. I wonder we'll see where. You, yeah, I wonder <laughs> where we will put this one. Okay, it's it's. I don't think it's uh, any surprise to anybody who has been following the meta. The Vengeance Demon Hunter is the best still, performing still. tanks in dungeons, and it's arguably the best performing tanks in raid. So clear enough. It's gonna go into S tier, but why? Let's, let's talk let's a little bit about why, uh, why is Vengeance why is S tier Vengeance? in raids too. Well, okay, it has pretty much all of the uh, benefits of Prot Warrior, I think, because Fiery Brand the is the, the Fiery Brand build is going to be very good in terms of uh, block, you know, not blocking, mitigating damage, and Fiery Brand is going to have a reduced cooldown. It's going to be up for pretty much every important boss mechanic that's going to hit you. You have crazy mobility. The mobility, you man, have, it's, it's out there. It's <laughs> you have decent damage. The damage doesn't scale as high as it does in Mythic Plus because uh, most yeah, of Vengeance yeah, damage yeah. is AOE, but it still has a lot of single target damage. And the defensive toolkit being one of the best right now in the game, it kind of sees it's kind of like a better version of Prot Warrior, maybe. Yeah, I mean, in terms of DPS, it's definitely better than than the Prot Warrior right now. And even if the self sustain, although the the self sustain, the HPS isn't all that high. I mean, you cannot really compare it to like I don't know, Guardian Druid or Blood Decay, but still, it has this toolkit. Yeah, the, the thing with the thing with HPS is like I don't know exactly how the logs uh, measure this, That's... but when you pop into meta, you get that HP boost. I know, I and know, that I know. kind of acts like a little bit of a self heal, and of course that's that's really important because also when you get into meta now with the demonic build you have a lot of HP, you have a lot of armor, and that happens at least once per minute. You can also pop meta, and you also have last resort, which also pops meta, so it's very hard to die as a this vengeance. This is my last resort. <laughs> For instance, if you think about Blood Decay with Purgatory, which is probably going to be played on progression rating, Purgatory that uh, instead of dying, you get an Absorb Shield and you can stay alive if you're going to get healed for that little Absorb. Uh, Vengeance yeah. just instantly gets healed and gets extra armor and gets extra health. <laughs> and, so that's and. like 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 the, the superpower version of Purgatory if we're going to be talking about that. So that's yeah. another really strong point. Plus, parry is... If you can get parry to 100%, and I don't, I don't oh, think uh, oh, Vengeance okay. can do this, that's probably the best way to mitigate melee attacks better than block and probably not that's better than dodge it's exactly like dodge but you know yeah and also like from the point of view of a healer i don't know it always felt like when i was when i was trying to heal a, a vengeance demon hunter it felt super safe 
uh, especially when we're, we're, we're with Cabal and, and, and other, you know, competent Vengeance Demon Hunters, you know, they can really do good. And again, maybe that, that, that self-heal isn't like super impressive, but the toolkit, I mean, it, it, it basically it's a Swiss Army Nurse for w w whatever I is yeah, happening, yeah. right? So it's this their is time to shine. It, yeah, it, it, it's a long time coming, but it's still an S tier. And with that, we round it up, right? Yeah, so we have, it's, we have one in every every group. It's yeah. like we planned this beforehand. Right? <laughs> well, it, it's you know it's only six specs of tanks, so yeah. uh, uh, again we have to stress this out. All of these specs are viable in high end content as well as like low entry content. No problemo. Uh, hope we made this clear and we talked about you know the strengths and weaknesses and you know HPS DPS and all of that but any tank can do good or bad dependent on his comp on his partner tank on how you know the strategy is and so on and so forth but as a general term right if yep. you look at what they can do uh, on a you know side by side basis this is how it should look like. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we have put so many disclaimers in this video because I know you're going to comment. And hey, we're totally open to feedback. Let us Obviously, know. Let we us do want to improve these videos. And they're always going to be a tad subjective from what we what we uh, perceive. We do look at analytics, but analytics are not always 100% accurate because not everybody logs. And obviously, the top guilds that want to go for like, I don't know, obviously we're first. But if they want to go for World 100 or something like that, they might not log so that, you know, they yeah. can still get that rate uh, ranking and obviously each individual guild strategy to approaching each boss and your co-tank composition matters so all take all this with a grain of salt but if it's coming if it's coming from us play what you like guys it's gonna be really good and you're gonna enjoy it <laughs> yeah de definitely definitely and this is this is why we do these tier lists because we kind of get to play test all of these specs uh we we did it in past expansions mm. we did it in the alpha and the beta we'll do it in now because this is like the nature of the beast on on this channel we'll do class guides for all of the specs so we have our intake and our experiences with these specs on top of us like talking with, with everybody from all the class discord you know top theory crafters and so on and so forth we get a lot of input for from everywhere so that being said thank you to all of our patrons who are making our content possible on a monthly basis you know it's the class guides it's the friday tier list no tier list friday tlf it's the mocast podcast all of that is being made possible due to no small amount to our patrons so thank you so much, very much. and hey if you want to join the team that way and maybe get your ass some custom wallpaper with your character on uh, who knows check the link in the description check the perks see if there's anything there that you like that being said thank you for watching the video and, and see you in the next one have a great weekend I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild Still, I play wild Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild Still, I play wild It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wild